What's up, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my handsome, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys. So we're going to start off with some self-care messages. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And anything you need to know about me, Scorpio, will be in the description box below. All right, you guys. Let's go. So the first card we have here, Scorpio, is a long time, okay? So some of you need to spend some time alone. Maybe your energy has been spread out to, you know, many different people. School done started back. You're trying to take care of the kids. You know, you got a lot of stuff going on, okay? But some of you need to really focus on spending some time alone. Joyously explore your alone time. Think about what you would do in solitude. Then plan so that your next time that is freed up, and your commitments are put on pause. Find peace and stillness by completely tuning in to your own needs, okay? You can keep it simple and plan something like a quiet night at home to journal and be into introspective. Go for a walk, work on a quiet project, meditate, or try any solo activity that feels restorative to you, okay? So I feel like spirit is wanting you to restore your mind, your body, your spirit, and also... I feel like your soul, but especially your mind, okay? I feel like some of you, like, maybe there are some things that's been on your mind, and it's like you really haven't had time to be by yourself. And you're like, oh, if I can just get five minutes to myself, okay? So when you get that time to see yourself, Scorpio, use it wisely here, okay? Okay, Scorpio, we also have 11, okay? Connect to crystals. You can be born 11, 11, Scorpio. We also have 11, 2, and 1116 okay so if you don't have crystals or you're not familiar with crystal scorpio this is a little guide that i have okay it tells you all the colors and what these are used for okay so connecting to crystal scorpio crystals are living sentiment beings they are keepers of wisdom and light offering a connection to the realms you can talk to them out loud or telepath telepathically in waking life, as well as in your dreams and meditations. They can inspire different energies within you, and they can amplify your intentions. They can attract, absorb, or repel energies. Whatever you're working on, there is a crystal for that purpose, okay? So some of you, maybe you're needing some type of protection. Maybe you feel like there's, you know, some energies around you you want to protect yourself from. This subsidian right here, okay? Like, if you look up all these crystals, Scorpio, you will know what they are used for. And they are very helpful as well, okay? And we also have make an altar, okay? This is like your own private little altar, Scorpio. I got my little my little red up off over here where I have my candles, okay? You can have your incense. You can have your aroma, you know, therapy candles. Like, whatever that you have, make an altar. And this is a time for sacred prayer. This is a time to meditate. This is a time to set your intentions, reflect, pray, and connect to spirit and your spirit, guys, okay? And also connecting to the universe. Tune into what feels right, okay? What do you need to refresh your altar space or to create one or a new one? You can create anything from money altar to a fertility altar, but whichever direction you go in, begin with intentions, okay? So make sure this altar that you set and you have good intentions. Photos, crystals, candles, animal totems, and objects can represent the five elements, earth, air, fire, water, and ether, okay? All right, you guys. So let's get into this awakened soul. Let's pull some messages here. And let's see what this awakened soul wants to say to us, Scorpio, okay? If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, Scorpio? All right, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. What's up, Scorpio? I want to say hello to my new subscribers out there. Anyone new that is viewing today and all of my BFFs. What it do, everybody? All right. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Give us some messages from 
this awakened soul. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? All right, Scorpio. I know that you can take care of yourself, but I want to be the one who does it, okay? So someone, Scorpio, I feel like is wanting to step into like their emperor or empress energy, okay? This person already sees you, Scorpio, and your king or queen of pentacles, or you're already representing this divine feminine or masculine energy, okay? But this is a divine masculine is what I'm putting up of, of the energy that I'm picking up of, okay? And this is someone who knows, Scorpio, that you good and damn well can take care of yourself. And see, this person, they want to provide for you. They want to be the one to take care of you, okay? So this could have been someone, Scorpio, that failed to do something. This is someone who possibly was supposed to be helping you or providing for you, okay? But this person didn't do that, okay? This person was not ready to step up to the plate and take the job, okay? This is someone that is looking at this connection from a different perspective here, okay? So someone here is learning possibly about twin flames, or someone here could be learning to love the people that they protect. But someone here is starting to look at you, and they're starting to look at this connection from a different perspective, okay? And now that this person is looking at this connection from a different perspective, they want to take care of you. They want to be the ones that provide for you, Scorpio, because they know we are very independent, okay? They know, Scorpio, that we we very well can take care of ourselves. See, this person wants to be that provider, okay? This is male or female energy. It doesn't matter. This is someone that wants to be like that, that protector, that person that takes care of you, like, even though, Scorpio, if you got money in the bank, baby, they know your money long, Scorpio, okay? But see, this person, they don't care how much money you got. This person got to work extra just to be able to provide or to be able to say, hey, Scorpio, you know, I want to do this for you. This is what this person's going to do, okay? Someone here has gained confidence in themselves and this connection, okay? So someone here lacks confidence in themselves for whatever particular reason. And I feel like because this person didn't have confidence in themselves, they weren't confident in this connection, like you can't be confident within yourself and then expect to know that everything is going to be all right in the connection. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, if you don't have confidence in yourself and you don't have confidence that, that this person that you're trying to connect with or build this relationship with, like you don't have confidence in that as a whole. Okay. So I feel like because of someone not, I'm not going to say that not knowing that worth, but just lacking that confidence, lacking that Lacking that inner strength to be able to know that they can be able to provide for you, okay? To be able to look at this connection from a different perspective here. I'm tired of running from you and this connection. Yeah, this person is starting to look at this connection differently now, Scorpio, because this is someone who ran. They didn't only... They ran from you, Scorpio, because I feel like of feelings and emotions that this person was not able to express. Or this is someone who didn't know how to be vulnerable or know how to express themselves, okay? So they ran from you because of that. They could have ran from you, Scorpio, because they were supposed to be revealing or telling you some type of truth. But it was like somebody always been in this energy of running, whether they was running from the truth, whether they was running from themselves, whether they was running because they lacked confidence. Like someone been running, baby. They done had some dog on Nike running shoes on and they been running their ass off here, okay? But somebody is saying, Scorpio, they're ready to stop running okay and this is someone that hopes that one day that you can forgive them so someone here ran i feel like someone was needing to speak their truth or they were needing to be honest with you about something and versus this person doing it it was like they just chose to run to run <laughs> they chose to run they chose to run like i feel like this is someone who doesn't like to face their fears you know what I'm saying? Like, it's easier for this person to run away. Run away like a little bitch. <laughs> then to face their fears, okay? So someone here was running. Like, Norbert say, why you run off like a little bitch? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> someone here was, was scared to face their fears. So it was easier for them to run away. You know what I'm saying? Run away from their problems. Run away from anything that they had to stand up. You know what I'm saying? Stand up and be a man. Stand up and be a woman. Like, this person ran from those type situations, okay? But this person is saying they are tired, Scorpio, of running, okay? And this is someone that's saying, baby, they would not take no for an answer. I was about to say, Scorpio, since this person's running, baby, they might be getting ready to turn around and come chase you, okay? So I feel like 
once this person decides Scorpio, okay, they re they tired of running and they're ready to come chase after you, Scorpio. When this person starts chasing after you, baby, they will not take no for an answer. So if you be like, you're like, nah, I'm good. I don't want no relationship. They might shit, Scorpio. You thought you thought we're not gonna be in a relationship. Like somebody here is not going to take no. I feel like someone here after looking at this connection from a different perspective like they're viewing you like someone here i feel like scorpio views you as the one or they can see you as being the one this this is why this person doesn't want to take no for an answer it's kind of like this person missed out on this opportunity with you this first go around it's like the second go around they don't they want to get this shit right you know what i'm saying so this is someone they like no nah, scorpio i can't it, it can't be no no, you know what I'm saying? Because I missed out on the opportunity with you the first time. And I feel like this person now is like, uh-uh, I can't, I can't be missing out on no two, three opportunities with you because this is someone who I feel like doesn't even know if they even have a second opportunity. Let's get one more and we're going to see who this reading is about. This connection has transformed my life, okay? So I feel like something that happened. Now, whether it was you walking away from this person, it transformed them because this could have been someone, Scorpio, as long as you were always open, as long as you had your arms open and you were always willing to accept this person's behavior, Scorpio, they were not going to change. So I feel like you setting your boundaries, you putting your foot down, you standing up for yourself, you transform this person and you also help to transform this connection because you made this runner to the point to where they had to retire their running shoes, okay? Ooh, I may need to name that. This runner has retired their running shoes, baby, and they're saying they are tired of running from this connection, okay? Because you transformed this person, Scorpio. When you cut, when you pull back your energy from this person, when you cut communication from this person, when you cut ties, sex, money, however you cut this person off, you transform this person's life because they had to change. They had to look at this. See, as long as you were continuing to enable, thank you, Spirit, as long as you were continuing to enable this person's behavior, they were never going to change. But see, once you change, once you change, then you evolved, okay? And once you change, you cut, some, you know what I'm saying? You either cut ties with this person or you change your behavior, how you reacted or treated this person. See, you made this person. Look at this situation now from a different perspective because you are not the same. See, if you would have stayed the same, this person, Scorpio, was never going to view this connection from a different perspective. But now that you've changed, it's kind of like that mirroring thing. You you and this person mirror each other. You changing. Okay, so this person has to mirror you and they have to change as well. And this person wants to know, Scorpio, do you still think about me? Okay. All right, so let's see who this reading is about. We're going to do the who that. Yeah, we'll do the who that. So who is this reading about for my Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. Messages for my Scorpios. Now, let me shuffle through these real good. Who is this reading about for my Scorpios? Who is this reading about for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit? All right, Scorpio, we have small hands and we have muscular or a nice physique. All right, Holy Spirit, who is this reading about for my Scorpios? Who is this reading about? I'm going to take five of these. All right, Scorpio, we got crooked teeth. Dang, all about teeth. We got gap tooth. This could be someone who has no tattoos. We got brown or caramel complexion. That means they're not dark or not light. And this could be someone who wears weaves, you guys, okay? So let's get the signs. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? All right, we have Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Cancer. We have Heavy Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. And we have Leo, Libra, Scorpio, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, Scorpio, stay blessed.